Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about Saudi Arabia's oxygen floating city in Red Sea. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. As part of its NEOM development, Saudi Arabia intends to construct a floating port known as Oxygen. It is expected to be the world's biggest floating structure. The futuristic Red Sea port will be developed alongside other projects in the works of Saudi Arabia's king, including the line, Sindala, Trojina, and Neom. The Oxygen port will use Egypt's Suez Canal as a significant maritime destination center. The Red Sea is already extremely vulnerable biologically. It will be fascinating to see what environmental planning studies and investigations are included in this project. Before erecting wind turbines, certain nations, for example, assess wind factors for birds. Fundamental considerations. Based on what we've seen at the line, the answer is most likely none. This saddens me, especially when you look over the water to Egypt and see how unspoiled Sinai still is. The Oxidon port will serve as the logistical hub for Miam, a huge region that will be powered by renewable energy as part of Saudi Arabia's 2030 strategy to diversify its economy away from oil, while still utilizing as much oil money as it can right now to develop bombastic, out-of-touch-with-reality projects. Oxygen Port will be built on land in an octagonal shape, with a portion floating into the Red Sea. The port, as well as elements of the floating city, will be built around water-filled floating squares linked by tiny canals. A cruise terminal and an oceanic research center are in the works. Oxygen will be the driver for economic growth and diversification in Neom and the Kingdom, helping us to realize our Vision 2030 aspirations, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman stated. Oxygen will help to reinventing the world's approach to industrial development in the future, conserving the environment while producing employment and growth for Neom. It will benefit Saudi Arabia's regional trade and commerce while also assisting in the establishment of a new focal point for global trade flows. Saudi Arabia has endeavored to rebuild its image and significantly change its economy under the leadership of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Many years ago, the Crown Prince implemented a number of social changes as part of his ambitious Vision 2030 initiative, which aimed to increase expenditure on leisure and cultural infrastructure. In 2018, the monarchy built its first cinema in more than three decades, with plans to build up to 100 theaters in 25 towns by 2030. These changes and increased investment in entertainment infrastructure are strategic steps designed to help Saudi Arabia reduce its economic dependency on the oil and gas sector. Oil and gas earnings accounted for 64% of the government's budget in 2016, but will drop to 53% by 2020. Instead, Saudi Arabia is counting on a number of mega projects to improve hospitality and tourist earnings while also attracting international corporations. Saudi Arabia launched its most ambitious proposal to date in November 2021. Oxygen, an eight-sided floating industrial metropolis on the Red Sea. The monarchy plans to capitalize on the Red Sea's status as one of the world's busiest commerce routes by building an integrated port and supply chain network with futuristic and environmentally friendly industrial hubs. Floating, while Oxygen is a promising initiative that, if completed as promised, has the potential to radically reshape the kingdom in a number of ways, some doubters wonder why it needs to be a floating city and whether the concept is really viable. By developing a floating metropolis, we minimize coastal expansion while establishing waterfront neighborhoods that can be properly cooled and managed, utilizing the ocean's natural moderating effects, stated Vishal Wanku, CEO of Oxygen, in an interview with Arabian Business in November 2021. In addition, by relocating research and technology offshore, Neom, the bigger city where Oxygen will be located, will harness the power of the Red Sea to stimulate innovation in ocean exploration, maritime transportation, food production, and tourism. Wanju further stated that the floating city's distinctiveness will help attract global enterprises and entrepreneurs focusing on blue-green economies. He mentions Oxygen as a biotech development and sustainable seafood production powerhouse. Wanchu and other Saudi authorities have yet to explain how the sea would float or how much the project will cost. Center for Transformational Manufacturing Every year, almost 10% of world trade goes across the Red Sea. Oxygen will accelerate and improve shipping and distribution operations by building the world's first next-generation automated port and fully integrated logistics hub. Aside from that, it is expected to be one of the world's premier manufacturing hubs, with a focus on next-generation technology innovation in sectors such as space, robotics, smart and cognitive cities, and advanced buildings. 
Wanku went on to say that the regulatory structure of the floating city will encourage innovation and economic growth, and that entrepreneurs will have access to end-to-end -end investor care from experienced investors, as well as leadership support from qualified business advisors. Oxygen has already received a commitment from Gulf Modular International to build the world's largest modular building construction factory. Furthermore, Neom is collaborating with Aqua Power and Air Products to create the world's largest green hydrogen project. Desert Technologies and Heisen Motors have also committed to development projects in Oxygen. Oxygen manufacturing facilities will cover the following seven priority clusters technology and digital autonomous and sustainable mobility, modern construction, sustainable food production, health and well-being, water innovation, and renewable energy. It will be powered completely by clean energy and be the world's first industrial city to emphasize exceptional quality of life for its citizens. Wanchu expects residents to begin moving into the city by 2023. He added that onshore development should be finished by 2030. Part of the Neom Mega Project Oxygen is just one component of the Neom Mega Project. The entire development will include the Neom Smart City and the Lime, which will involve a multitude of linear and connected cities built around nature with an emphasis on walkability. There will be no roads or cars in cities along the line. Instead, all essential services will be within a five-minute walk from select residences. The line is expected to add $48 billion to Saudi Arabia's domestic GDP and create 380,000 jobs by 2030. The overall Neom project, which includes the Neom Smart City, the Line, and Oxygen, will be more than 30 times the size of New York City once complete. One of many ambitious projects in Saudi Arabia, Neom may be one of the more ambitious projects associated with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's Vision 2030, but it is far from the only ongoing grandiose development in the kingdom. In fact, Neom is one of six projects in Saudi Arabia's $7 trillion development plan. The other five are the Nine Island Red Sea Project Tourism Venture, the $8 billion Kidia Entertainment City, the 3,300 square kilometer Hamala Luxury Tourism Project, the $13 billion Asir Development Project, and the $50 billion Duriyad Gate Development. That's a wrap on the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.